Hi, I'm Candace from LaSalle University. And I'm John from Whitworth University. We collaborated with graduate student Rana Haber and Dr. Adrian Peter. This presentation is brought to you by the Amalthea Research Experience for Undergraduates, sponsored by the National Science Foundation. Our research deals with functional data, specifically with regression, classification, and interpolation. Functional data is popping up all around the scientific community, so what exactly is it? Functional data is assumed to have a smooth underlying function, meaning more information can be gained by taking derivatives. Almost all time series data are functional. Since we are using functions, there is no longer a need to default to feature vectors. This is important because feature vectors don't take advantage of information given by derivatives. Functional data analysis is a growing field in machine learning. This means there is potential to develop new algorithms and methods. We developed two methods, the first of which is Classification using functional kernel regression. Given curves from two different classes of data, we want to be able to separate them into their respective classes. This requires three main steps. The first step is to find an exemplar curve for each class, and this is done using functional principal component analysis. The second step is functional regression. Normally, in functional regression, a set of curves is mapped to another set of curves. In our case, a set of curves is mapped onto the single exemplar curve. The final step is classification. First, given a set of training curves, the exemplar curve is found and a mapping to that curve is found. In testing, you have two classes, each with an exemplar curve. For a given testing curve, the mapping determined by each class is applied, and the mapping that produces the least amount of error determines the classification. The second method of functional data classification is discriminative interpolation. The basic idea is there are two sets of curves, and the curves of each class move closer to each other by interpolation. In training, there are two curves from each class that move towards each other to produce four interpolated curves. In testing, a curve is moved closer to each set of interpolated curves. The movement or interpolation that produces the least error determines a classification. Because time series data is everywhere, there are many potential applications, including classification of heart arrhythmias, sounds, stocks, and different types of stars. Thank you for listening. This was brought to you by the 2014 Amalthea RU program.